Once you've got your website ready to go, you'll want to make sure it's running with your own custom domain name, such as the ownerres hosted website shenrent.com. The first step in going live is buying the domain name. If you don't have an account anywhere yet, we recommend namecheap.com. When you're ready to go live with your website, you'll link up your own domain name to the ownerres servers, and from then on, the hosted website will live at your domain, and typing in that domain will take you directly to your ownerres hosted website. We have three specific videos for setting your DNS. Setting DNS records for Namecheap, setting DNS records for Google Domains, and this video, setting DNS records for GoDaddy. Once you've purchased your domain name, you're ready to go live with your website. Go to Settings, My Websites, and click on Hosted Website. If you've already started setting up your website, you'll see it here. If you haven't set it up yet, you'll want to watch our Direct Bookings Hosted Website video. Your website will currently be using the ownerres supplied test URL location instead of your own domain name. You'll need to change this to your custom domain name. Click the Pencil Change Settings button to make changes. In the Hosting slash Domain Live Location field, enter your domain. If you'd like to redirect to a non-www domain name, select Redirect to Apex. If you'd like to use a subdomain name such as bookings.yoursite.com, Select Don't Handle www no redirect. The other options and settings will already be populated from previously setting up your hosted website. Click Save and you will see a summary of your changes. HTTPS is currently disabled. This will be enabled as soon as the DNS is configured. You can check the DNS by clicking the Check DNS button. This shows that the DNS is not correctly configured. This is a useful tool to ensure that you set the DNS correctly. Go back to Change Settings and click on the Hosted Websites Going Live link. This will take you to a page that gives you the info that you'll need to input into your domain registrar. You'll need to change the A name and C name records in GoDaddy. You'll do this by copying information from this page into your account at GoDaddy. First, copy this top number, then head over to GoDaddy. This is where your purchase domain should be. Under your account, click My Products. You'll see your purchase domain here. Click DNS to access your DNS records. The current DNS records are set by default. To edit these, click the pencil edit icon for the type A record. Change the data field to the number that you copied from ownerres. Leave everything else alone and click Save Now. Go back to the ownerres hosted website's going live page and copy the second set of A type records. Now head back to the GoDaddy DNS records page and click Add. In the Type drop-down menu, select A. In the Name field, enter the At symbol. Paste the second set of numbers you copied in the Value field and click Add Record. To paste the third set of A records, go back to the ownerres hosted website's Going Live page and copy the third set of A type records. Once again, head back to the GoDaddy DNS records page and click Add. In the Type drop-down menu, select A. In the Name field, enter the At symbol. Paste the third set of numbers you copied in the value field and click Add Record. Next, you'll need to add the CNAME type record. Look for the record that says name is www and data is your domain name. Click to edit this record and change your domain name to hosted.ownerres.com. Click Save. Now that you've set the DNS records correctly in GoDaddy, head back to Ownerres. Go to your hosted website settings. Select your website. Now we see that the HTTPS is enabled and click Check DNS. You'll see that the DNS is configured correctly. When you configure your DNS, it usually propagates within a few hours, but occasionally it can take up to 48 hours. Your website will be live after this propagation period. You can check it by clicking on the Live link, which is your domain's URL. When you are ready to continue on to the next step in the setup checklist, be sure to watch our Setup Checklist Testing video. Thanks for choosing Onares.